Have you seen my granddaughter Goldie? She's always up to some antics with that damn bear. What? Are you going senile? <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Nate and I'm your humble narrator, welcome to Mega Strike! It all started with a top secret military research project, a team of scientists led by the brilliant Dr. Alphonse Omega. That's him with the glasses and the pointy eyebrows. Their goal was to enhance the capabilities of ordinary soldiers, make them better, faster, stronger. Work it harder, do it better. They created the Alpha Elixir, its effects were almost Miraculous, the military leaders were pleased. Alpha Elixir! I'm an alpha now, bro. <laughs> the elixir was widely administered among the armed forces to increase performance exactly as Dr. Omega had planned. Oh, but he had some other plans, didn't he? After a while, the changes began. Soldiers turned into ferocious mutants under the control of Dr. Omega. Oh, snap. They're not even human anymore. They're mutants! But the X-Men taught me that mutants can be human or something. The remaining forces had little chance against the mutant hordes. All resistance was crushed. Now Dr. Omega rules with the mutant armies by his side, free to conduct his foul experiments on the population. At least the population that is uh, left over. <laughs> oh snap. Omega Strike ready to go. Only a small group of brave freedom fighters remain to oppose Dr. Omega and his reign of terror. I like that Cyclops looking guy. Are you sure he's not a mutant? Should, should we get him? <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Resistance hideout... Welcome to the briefing, gentlemen! Dr. Omega's forces are already crawling in the cavern, so I'll try to keep this brief. Our leading scientist, Professor Einhorn, has come up with a new plan to defeat Dr. Omega. Einhorn! Finkel! Finkel is Einhorn! Einhorn is Finkel! <laughs> Anyway, know what that's from? 90s people? Yeah, you got that? <laughs> oh, I can't unhear it. I can't unsee it. You must fight your way to the surface and find the professor in a small town called Tumbleweed. He'll provide you with more details about your mission. The professor has also sent us this little gizmo, a hand teleporter. Each of you has unique talents and now we can put them all to good use. This device will allow you to warp in the right man for each situation. Meanwhile, the rest of you can remain out of sight. This way will attract less t attention from Omega's forces and increase the chance of success. It is imperative that you find Professor Einhorn. We all are all counting on you. Good luck. Alright, so there's some controls. Oh, there's a map. What was the map button? I missed it. Oh well. Very secure, sir. Thank you so much. I'm gonna practice with my machine gun. These are my bros. These are my bros. So, uh, here's a guy. He got like a grenade launcher kind of thing. A shotgun fellow, and then our, our machine gun man. A little bit of gold. Yeah, this is kind of like a Metroidvania-ish. Also got some uh, Lost Vikings influence with the switching of characters. Heading out to kick some mutant butt? Hell yeah, bro. Could you tell the general to turn the heat back on? I'm freezing my balls off. Oh, you got a little blanket though, huh? That's gonna be nice for ya. Resistance Caverns. Hooray! Press the attack button to fire. Hold the button to fire continuously. I can't reach the barrel. Hooray! We will kill some slugs. Metal slugs! Yeah, it does have a little bit of a, a metal slug slant to it as well. Press up to grab hold of the chain. Yep. That's, that's probably what I would have done. But you know, it just helps to read the text boxes. Oh, and you can also uh, shoot the heads off enemies. Shoot while you're climbing on ropes and stuff. This is getting pretty badass, let me tell you what. It is uh, only a single player game, which I find unfortunate. It might be cool to blast some baddies, but um, yeah. Not not too uh, difficult by yourself. It might be a little too easy if you had uh, an, extra, an extra shooty gun thing. Press down and jump to fall through platforms. Yep, that's how it works. I guess if you've uh, never played a game like this, that would be helpful. But I've played many games like this. Can't you see? I get rid of that guy on the roof. And I should have shot his uh, stupid shell. His stupid shell thing. I think you get more coins from shooting the heads. Coins can be used to buy upgrades. Dex can leap higher than other characters with his double jump ability. Press the jump button while airborne to perform a double jump. Oh, so shotgun guy, his name is Dex. 
His name's Dex, which uh, I guess makes sense. He's extra dexterous. Although I don't know why you give the shotgun to the dexterous guy. That doesn't make much sense to me. And I really like how it uh, just obliterates enemies. One hit with this shotgun, way better than um, blasting stuff with a machine gun. Ooh, health pack. Items you find are added to the inventory. You can access the inventory from the pause menu. Oh, don't pause me, bro. Alright, here's some Adias. I'm gonna go ahead and blast this thing. Oh, it lived. It lives! It lives in all of us! I really like blasting the, uh, the heads there. And I got a life cube, whatever that does. Probably some sort of health. But then I also have the uh, health pack, which is interesting. Is it different? Should I should I be experimenting with these things? Oh god. I thought that guy was gonna die from a shotgun blast. He did not. What the fuck? Bear's the strongest of the characters and can even move boulders. Walk into a boulder to push it. Oh, super strong, bro. But I, I go back to shotgun man. Shotgun man pleases me. And then double jump across there. ba boo ba boo I think that's the bottom. I kind of want to go explore uh, what's down there. But I think it's just the bottom where I where I was before. We went in like a little a little hooky motion. And if there is a map, then uh, presumably it's all interconnected and whatnot. So I needn't do that. It would be a waste of my time and yours. And I'm not too fond of that. Ooh, chest. Show me what's in your chest. Plus 30 gold from a golden skull. Wonderful. Oh, there's a shooty guy. Go ahead, do it. Do it. Do it so I can get past you. Oh, jeez, I almost fell down the hole. Didn't go down the hole. Didn't go down the hole. Oops, can't duck under those. <laughs> Duly noted. Hmm, and a door of sorts. Nope, need a key. Gotta find the key, bruh. And uh, you can't just kind of farm gold by coming back in the same door. In and out. In and out. Sexy. <laughs> Oh, so here's another little laboratory thing. Save point. Awesome, just what I need. I require savings! Much savings! Oh god. It's kind of uh, wonky that this doesn't have like eight directions. You've got three directions you can shoot in. Left, right, up. But I guess that's all we're gonna need to get through the game. This game has not been out for very long at all, but it has seen relatively good reviews. Uh, especially because of the head head poppy part. Where you shoot things in the head and then their head flies off and then you, uh, oh god. Landmines. Hey! I popped them mines with my dexterity. I'm so dexterous, bro. And I think this was the bottom. Yeah, we came through there already. No problem. I am not confused. I know what we're doing. We're, we're, we're going through the caverns. <laughs> Obviously. That, that's pretty simple, isn't it? Alright, I love this shotgun guy. He's an ass kicker, bro. Hell yeah. Can I jump up there? Sure can. Oop, oh, oop. Oh. Blast all the heads. Nice. Alright. We're doing pretty good. I assume there's something down there as well. But I'm not going to uh, worry my my little head about it too much. Maybe we just go have a little sneaky peek. Yeah. There's nothing hidden down there. I don't know what I'm doing. It's a pretty straightforward uh, part, at least level one. I'm sure they'll mix it up at some point and I'll be like, where the fuck am I supposed to go? But that's okay. I always figure it out. Determination is the name of the game. Oh, two health points from, uh, is that chicken leg? Delicious chicken? I dig that. Another door. Secret door. Ooh. My buddies are all kind of dead. You guys are looking kind of dead, huh? Yeah. Machine gun man walking through machine gun land. There we go. A little bit of extra coinage. Mmm, I likes that. I said, gives me that. Oh, you're one of my friends, huh? <laughs> you bastards shut me up pretty good. 
I took the power cord from the security door to slow him down. It's right there next to me. You could use it to open the security door and make your way to the surface. Good luck. Okay, thanks. You want me to like put you out of your misery? Blam blam! <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and then uh, enemies do respawn when you walk back. Walk back through. So, um, kind of old school in that way. But no complaints here. That just means more, uh, more time to stack some gold. That's what I'm about. Get this money. Um, we go down here. I forget what was down here. Yes, it's spikes, you see? I still took a hit. But at least it wasn't from spikes. I don't know if the spikes can kill you or not. It's probably not a good idea to test it, though. <laughs> I'm not that curious. So I gotta go back to that um, door that we passed earlier. Just a little bit of backtracking. This is why I say uh, the game is Mega Man slash Metroid slash uh, Metal Slug. It's all kinds of good stuff. There's another chicken. Mo chickens. All right. I think it's somewhere around here. Oh, buddy, get away from me, you bastard! <laughs> Get it? Because he's a bat. Wow. I kind of missed the double jump. I could, uh, like, find my way around these creatures and whatnot. I just wanted to... I wanted to machine gun some stuff, you know? I'll go ahead and hit that save point. Don't want to get too lost here. I mean, you can't really get lost. This part is uh, about as straightforward as it gets, I assume. I presume. So here we are. Back to the door, back to the future. Oh, bam! Didn't even have to push up. It knows what I want to do. Good job, game. Good job. Alright. Blast everything with a shotgun. It feels really nice. I really like this. It's not uh, extremely complicated or anything, but it just feels good. It feels good to shoot stuff, you know? And uh, it has a little bit of uh, an impact to it as well, which I like. Definitely not as fast-paced as Metal Slug, but what really is, you know? <laughs> That's the truth. There are a few games that can compare, and I'm glad it, uh, it has its own style, you know? Loss of Vikings, Metal Slug, Metroid, yeah. And it, it's deserving of those titles, you know? I appreciate that the games that de devs didn't uh, compare their game to other games, but yeah, I can't help it, really. <laughs> Just uh, it's easier when you compare it to things that you already know, you know. It keeps things nice and simple. Oh god, I've been playing too much Cuphead. I tried to dash. <laughs> there is no dash move. Double jump. That's what I want. And I took another hit to the face, but we've got eight hit points. They're relatively generous like that. Oh, can't reach him. Still can't reach him. All right, have some of this then. Have some of this and that, ha ha. Yeah, this machine gun is not the, uh, the greatest thing I've ever seen, but it'll do. It's just fine for now. All right, blast them. Master Blaster! Nice. Mad Max reference in our apocalyptic mutant zombie world. Are, they're not zombies, they're just mutants. But I guess they're kind of zombies, because they're all under the control of one man, like one of those hive mind zombies, you know? They're not used very often. I think a, a book called Cell is one of the only ones I can think of at the moment that has like Zombies that all have the same mind, but that's a pretty fucking good book. Let me tell you what. Hey, it's you Well, 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 what do we have here? Looks like the good professor finally got his teleporter working. Let's see who's hiding at the other end, shall we? Hi, we're all here. Oh shit Your friends will make excellent test subjects for my latest experiments. You however are not so lucky Dozer get in here and dispose of this rebel scum uh-oh. His technology is better than mine. Ah, oh, I will crush you like worm. Time to die. Okay. 
Oh god. This is not good. Oh. Okay. He's got that one you duck under, and then these ones you jump over, and he tries to jump on your head. Relatively simple attack pattern. And I'm, uh, putting the hurt on him. Oh, jeez. I do have a little, uh, extra health should I need it. And I just might. We're down halfway already. God damn. Well, he's a little, uh, a little over halfway cook at, cooked as well. So we'll see. We'll see who comes out on top. Pretty nice boss battles, bro. Oh god. I didn't have time to pause. <laughs> oh, what a quick death. I was so confident about my abilities in this game. And now I question everything. Gotta get that extra coin. Because why not? Quite necessary. Well, 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 I can't remember what just happened, so we're gonna do the whole thing again. Okay, great. That's fine. Hello, Austrian man. Arnold Schwarzenegger, motherfucker. There we go. I know what your tricks are now. I got you this time, buddy. This is definitely not as hard as Cuphead. I'm not sure why I died. I should have been able to do it in just one. But I wasn't prepared. My body was not quite ready. Oh, don't duck yet. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna get perfect. I'm gonna get perfect and perform a fight fatality on this fucker. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh god, it's not perfect. <laughs> Damn, that's okay. Still got you, didn't I, Bo? You better watch out. You better watch out. I'm telling you what. Oh, I thought that was gonna give me like an extra square of life, you know? Be the boss, get a heart. Just like in, uh... What's that thing that everybody knows? Oh yeah, Zelda. <laughs> the thing that everybody knows, you know. I can't seem to crawl through there. So, okay, we'll go up the chains. The only choice that I seem to have. And I'll go left first, because I assume you're supposed to go right. As is... Oh, as it happens in most platformers. Hmm can't go that way. I need my friend. I push the button to summon my friend, it does nothing. Because they've been captured by the evil Dr. Omega. That's okay. We'll rescue him. Ain't no big deal. A little health. I appreciate that. Top me off, chicken leg. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alright. Machine gun man, walking through machine gun land. And now I'm in tumbleweed. What is this? What is this place? Save point? Don't mind if I do. Won't have to fight that boss again. Hey! Ah, you've arrived! Marvelous! Welcome to my laboratory! What? Dr. Omega has abducted your friends. That is grim news indeed. I will have to improve the teleportation device so that this never happens again. But there's still a chance to save your friends, you see. We've been unable to reach Dr. Omega since he rules from the Omega Citadel, a flying fortress that is protected by powerful force fields. I have recently learned of a decryption device that is used to lower the force fields. Only his most powerful commanders might have such a device in their possession. I'm sure that you'll find the commanders. You may also find your friends. The first step, though, is securing a means of transportation. Talk to Mac, our local helicopter pilot. He needs help with his chopper. After that, it is up to you to find the decryption device. I know, the mission sounds daunting, but I have all of my faith in you. Return to me once you have secured the device. Good luck. Thank you, Dr. Einhorn. Finkel, Einhorn, Finkel, Einhorn. Finkel is Einhorn. Okay, catch the teleporter, or the elevator. For so all this talk of teleporters, I get my teleporters and elevators confused. Hi, dog. Bark, bark. Great. Have you seen my granddaughter Goldie? She's always up to some antics with that damn bear. What? Are you going senile? <laughs> Fresh meat! I sell the finest meats in town. Would you like to have a look at my selection? Oh, yeah. Health recovery items. Cool. There's another house to go in. Hey, I'm Freddy, welcome to my place. I wouldn't recommend going any further since my house has been invaded by all sorts of nasty bugs. If you want to help me out and go blast some of those bugs, you can keep any valuables you find. Okay. Why not? 
Oh jeez. I almost fell right on this slug. Slug bug. Slug bug pink. Slug bug blue. Oh man. It's gonna be hard to kill this guy, isn't it? No. <laughs> Short answer? No, not really. Piece of cake. Oh lord. Alright, shoot your thing. There you go. Very good. Oh. Can't kill that thing. Why not? <clears throat> I jump on you? Nope. <laughs> That's not the answer. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh my god. Was that fall damage? Or did I just uh, fall on a bug? I think I fell on the bug. Oh boy. There we go. Damn it. I'm not even in a level, and I'm taking all kinds of damage. Damn a damage. Alright, we got it. We good. Don't worry. I got a life cube. What does the life cube do? Somebody answer me. Oh, there's a thing shooting spikes down here. Whoa. Whoa, bro. Don't do it. Not very friendly of you. Maybe I just jump up these chains, you know, like I'm a speedrunner or something. Doo 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 doo. Speedrunner. Actually, a speedrunner would probably skip this fucking house entirely. Uh, duh. I'd love to help you fight Dr. Omega, but I have to guard this fire. Yep, and drink this vodka. He just farts? Farts and laughs. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. He's a pretty funny guy. Is that the same blanket guy from the base? Dang. He looks worse for the wear. If you're looking for some extra firepower, you come to the right place. Special price, just for you. What do you say? Ah. Glad I did not buy meats, I will tell you this. Let's upgrade the damage. I'd like to do the range as well, but uh... We can only do what we can do. An emergency beacon. That might be good too. But I... Rifle range upgrade. But I... But I... Yeah, it's fine. Welcome to Tumbleweed Pilgrim. Did you know that a blessed man once walked this cursed earth? His name was Jesus Christ, and he died for our sins. He had the gift of life bestowed upon him. Captured by Dr. Omega, he was. Oh, this is a part of the Bible I didn't know about. <laughs> His body was turned into small cubes of life. <laughs> but he was resurrected after three days. If you ever happen to find some of these cubes, come talk to me again. I found some cubes. Good to see you again. Would you like to offer your life cubes in exchange for a blessing? Yes. I'm sorry, you need four life cubes to make an offering. What do I have? Two. Ah, uh, we're halfway there. That's fine. Hey, here's the helicopter. What up, dude? So, the professor sent you to help get this baby back in the air again, huh? The engine's busted and I ain't got the spare parts to fix it. But the good news is I know where we could get some new components. A few months back, a helicopter crashed into the mountains east of here. You could go find it and salvage the parts I need. It won't be easy, though, with Dr. Omega's creations crawling around everywhere. But I think it's our only shot. Here, take this power core. You'll need it to get past the eastern gate. I'll wait here till you find those parts. Well, you're gonna be waiting for just a while. Because that's the end of the episode, friends. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Omega Strike. Quite a good game, and I'm uh, quite excited to get into it. But it's gonna have to wait for just a second. Look how excited I am. I hump the ground. I hump the ground. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I hope that you've enjoyed. Please let me know if you'd like to see some more. Um, or if you don't want to see some more. But I do plan to uh, give you some more. Regardless. This is this is what's in the, in the cards. The future has been foretold. Anyways, once again. This has been Omega Strike. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. I will see you next week with the, the same old stuff. We're gonna keep making some progress. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you then. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Omega Strike. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I'll see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.